Hello, my name is Matt Valentini. Today I want to talk about my honeypot project. So I did this project at the end of my cybersecurity bootcamp at Full Stack Academy. Basically what we did is we used Teapot, uh, which is a tool that you can download um, to help set up a bunch of different honeypots. Each honeypot is designed to capture some sort of exploitation for a certain vulnerability. The reason that we do this is to see what kind of attacks there are out there and figure out how we can defend against them. Here we can see that the teapot framework gives us a really nice layout of different information that we can use to our advantage. Um, one thing that we can see, for instance, here is where the attacks are coming from. So we have a sort of heat map here um, showing that there's attacks coming from all around the world. Um, specifically, you can see right here, there's a really dark red dot, and right here, there's a really dark red dot. The one is coming from Vietnam, the other one coming from Kansas. Furthermore, we can see specific attacks, um, such as the port uh, that a certain honeypot is uh, being attacked on. You can see that, for example, this Calvary box or this Calvary honeypot is being uh, has a lot of interactions in the SSH port and the Telnet port, and that tells us that uh, there are vulnerabilities that attackers are trying to exploit specifically on those ports, port 22 and 23. You can also see that there is a tag cloud here that is. You can also see these tag clouds, which are a bunch of words uh, where you can see the common uh, usernames that are being attempted and the common passwords that are being attempted. And for example, you can see that root and user are two that are very common. Um, and so a lot of these attacks are trying to either use root or user as the username, as well as in this bottom web web, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, root, test, admin123, all of these passwords um, that are including password itself, all these passwords that uh, might be rather insecure, um, but commonly used. So basically attackers are trying to use these to try to leverage a position. Once they're in, you can see if we scroll down some of the commands that they're attempting to run, such as this sudo hive passwd, uh, which is attempting to change the password. Um, and then two separate pkill commands um, trying to shut down the machine so that the actual user gets locked out of their machine. Another example is this curl file, which is trying to download something from a website. Um, you can look up this C3 pool that it's trying to download it from, and essentially it's trying to download a program that turns our honeypot into a crypto miner. So that's one real world application of not only how they're trying to do it, but why they're trying to break into our machine. Um, and in this case, it would be to turn our machine into a crypto miner and use that in order to make money. So as you can see, this honeypot project is, um, it's very interesting to be able to look in and see why things are getting attacked, how they're getting attacked, um, and then maybe even how we're able to defend against it, such as defending that SSH port and that Telnet port, making sure that they are um, only accessible to the IP addresses that we need them to be accessible toward. And as you can see that if we don't, uh, the consequences are very serious. You can see these commands that they're running. Yeah, this project was really cool to me. Um, I really enjoyed this project. Um, it, it helped me get a real world perspective on some of the concepts that we're learning in this bootcamp. Um, if you want to check out this report, um, it'll be in the description of the YouTube video that this will be uploaded on. It will also be put on my GitHub, um, which will also be in the description. And thanks for watching.